During their time on the Jersey Shore, every single cast member wanted to have fun and do something crazy. After six seasons of the hit reality TV show, viewers and cast members alike can probably agree that the mission was more than accomplished. Read on for a look at some of the most insane moments in Jersey Shore history to gear up for Jersey Shore family vacation. 7. Snooki's first night she made quite the first impression, Giffy the first episode ever to wear of Jersey Shore included the cast's first night together. It went how most parties filled with strangers in their 20s go. There was lots of getting to know you chit chat, some flirting, and, of course, shots. While most of the housemates kept relatively composed surprisingly, Snooki decided to go real hard on her first night. She gave it her all to try and make a move on every male housemate in the jacuzzi, and when that didn't work out proceeded to pass out while the rest of the house carried on with the night. She woke up hungover and showed up late to her first day of work the following day. Snooki's time at the shore was not off to a good start. Next, remember who Sammy liked before Ron? 6. The original love triangle their relationship experienced a lot of ups and downs. Giffy when fans think back on the trials and tribulations of Jersey Shore, the heated love story of Sammy and Ron undoubtedly comes to mind. But, if you think back to the very beginning, before there was Ron, there was Mike, of all people. Upon moving in, it was Mike and Sammy who were initially flirting. This all ended, of course, when Sammy started making out with Ron in a club and shortly after the two professed their attraction to one another. Mike was hurt, though adamantly denies it on the show, and began to lash out at the two in any way he could, like by being especially sweet to Sammy in an effort to win her back only to be able to turn her down. Next, Snooki's Beach Arrest 5. Where's the beach? This infamous moment was one of the funniest. Giffy back in July 2010, Snooki got so drunk that she was desperately searching for the beach while running along the beach. She eventually did find the beach but only slightly before a few Jersey cops found her. They put her in the back of a squad car for public intoxication. I'm a FG good person, she screamed as they ushered her into the car. Next, when Mike got in a fight with Ron but knocked himself out. Or when Mike willingly ran headfirst into a wall he went out of his mind. Giffy Mike and Ron were in a heated fight in Rome, or, at least, they were about to be, when Mike starts going absolutely ballistic. He was so riled up that he began throwing furniture, he flipped over a bed, pacing wildly, and, finally, slammed his own head into a wall so hard that he knocked himself out. He had to spend the rest of the series in a neck brace. Next, Snooki stands up for her housemates 3. When Snooki fought Angelina to honor her housemates she only stayed on the show for one season. Giffy, all of yous in this house are FG fake and I want you all to know that I can't stand any of yous. Fake AS all of you, Angelina proclaimed to the house one night. After trying to reason with her, saying that the castmates put in work to be a family, Snooki got fed up and told someone to, hold my earrings please, as she went over to Angelina to start a fight. The cast watched and cheered. At one point, Mike had to move the coffee table out of the way because he didn't want anything to happen to the table. Next, the infamous letter to The letter to Sammy Their fights were epic. Giffy who could forget when Jenny wrote Sammy a letter detailing all the times Ron had cheated on Sammy. The letter was intended to be anonymous, but, of course, all things are revealed with time on the shore. 
When the letter's writer became revealed, it caused a lot of drama between Sammy and Jenny, causing one huge fight in particular. Next, poor Snooks won. When Snooky got punched in a club this is still the show's craziest moment to date. Giphy on one of the group's nights out, a man started drinking the cast's drinks. Snooky noticed and told the guy to stop. He responded by turning around and punching her in the face, causing her to fly out of her chair. She was on the ground sobbing when the man was escorted out of the club and into a police car. What happened to Snooki was a crime and obviously extremely disturbing, MTV later said in a statement. Check out the cheat sheet on Facebook.